about five weeks back on an Ash Wednesday, we all set out on a journey. The destination was to experience the effects of the resurrection of our Lord on Easter Sunday in our soul and to hope to rise again after we have died from these mortal bodies. That was our destination towards which we had begun our journey on Ash Wednesday. The route, the path set out before was prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. The purpose of prayer was to remain in communion with the Lord. Not only in the context of the Eucharistic celebration here that we participate into every weekend, but it's one-on-one -on -one communication with the Lord. Like a couple that is dating, that they want to have a private time. So in prayer, you and I would have a private time with the Lord. The second thing was fasting. Fasting was not meant to be a symbolic fasting, but it was literal fasting. The purpose of fasting was to participate into the suffering of Jesus. Now the suffering of Jesus that we know and we heard in the Gospel passage today, that he was mocked, that he was cut, that crown of thorns was put onto his head, and that finally he was nailed to the cross was not symbolic, was real. He suffered in his body. There was that real pain in his body. And the purpose of our fasting is to suffer physically in order to share into the suffering of Jesus. Then we become partakers into the suffering of Jesus. Then we experience that pain in our body just the way Jesus experienced that pain. And almsgiving. Almsgiving was to separate from us those undue desires, undue attachments to the material world and to set our hearts on the things of heaven. So this was the path, the route that was set before us five weeks back in order to reach the destination of experiencing the effects of resurrection of our Lord in our souls even while we are here today. Today we stand at the threshold. Looking back, we ask ourselves we one question. How was my journey so far? The first thing is, did I ever leave from the start line at all? Or am I still standing at the start line? If I started a journey, how did it all go for the last five weeks? Was it a bumpy ride? Was it a smooth sail? Or have I deviated altogether from the round at all? And I have missed the side of my destination. The good news today is even if you have not started so far or even if you have had a bumpy ride or even if you have missed the side and altogether deviated your journey, we still have five days to get back to experience 
the resurrection of our Lord to reach our destination. In the next five days, we can put our whole self, our body, our mind, our heart, our soul, our all energies into preparing ourselves for that great day of the resurrection of our Lord. That calls for total and complete, a hundred percent commitment to our resolution. That would mean right away, right now, here now, we need to take a resolution to experience, to set ourselves on a right path once again. Let us remember one thing that along with Jesus, there were two other revolutionaries or the thieves who were hanged. Both of them had lived the bad life all throughout their lives. But at the very last moment, one of them repented and Jesus himself promised him that this very day you will be with me in paradise. It is never late to experience the effects of resurrection. <coughs> when do we start? Right now, today. Let us resolve to put in our best self in preparing ourselves for the day of resurrection for the next five days. We pray during this for the Eucharist for the grace and blessing that the next five days may be filled with all the graces and blessings in our life that we may not detour, that we may not lose sight of the destination that we are to reach one day in our life. Amen.